Army police with body cameras, the push is on. Good evening, everybody. I'm Victoria Hansen. Dean is on assignment. A state lawmaker held a roundtable discussion today about the devices promising to push for their use. ABC News 4 Stacey Jacobson has more on when we just might see them. How we're using technology. Representative Wendell Gilliard joined forces Friday, promising four area law enforcement agencies he will file a bill to study police body cameras. We have to take it to another level, and that's statewide. The cameras come in different forms. They can attach to an officer's body, collar, or sunglasses. Proponents say they reduce unnecessary use of force and can help in the legal process. When there is on officer video, it is highly unlikely that anybody who's been charged with a crime that knows they're guilty of that crime is going to want to put that in front of a jury. All the law enforcement agencies present say they want the cameras, but they are united in their concerns about cost. It's not the cost, the initial cost of the equipment, it's the storage and the maintenance over the years because the more information that is stored and it becomes evidence, you have a long retention period. Right now I'm wearing what's called the point of view body camera. This shows anything in the line of sight of an officer and it can be easily turned on and off with the click of a button. Chief Mullen says city police are already working on a policy that dictates when officers have their cameras on and off. Depending upon the situation that they're in is whether or not they activate the camera. If they're in any kind of a traffic stop, a person stop, or a an investigative encounter or an arrest situation, they're going to have the camera operating. Chief Mullen says if they go to a home to get information or answer a call to report a crime, the officer will ask the homeowner if they are okay with being recorded. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, brother, what's up? This is a hey, big recording, man. Yeah, I brother, can like dig it. Stop it. Right on. <laughs> Stop. Hey, man, what's your name? Yes. Hey, what's up, man? My man. It's so good that the that we are talking about this because when we listen to the kids in the, in the uh, school system at North Charleston High School, when the incident happened on the news or the night before, like we say, Twitter and Facebook could beat us to it. And when they get into school, oh, that police officer did that boy wrong. He did that boy wrong. He did this and did that. So I think now, you know, that would give the community, the kids, more trust now with they seeing this. You know, somebody's saying something on Twitter, Facebook. No, look at the news. They got it on the body cam. You'll see that, you know what I'm saying? So I think that really would help the community starting to move that trust back to, to the police officers. Um, basically, my question was, you said something about if the court, like if the officer put too much weight on the court that it could be knocked off or broken or something. Would, in any case, worst case scenario, if it was broken, like with all the data or like anything that was recorded be lost from good question good. On, on the body camera obviously there's no cord on the flex camera that cord usually run up underneath the vest up into the shirt somewhere uh, the cord is made to break and disengage so the officer can't be strangled with it the dvr the piece of the equipment that holds the video is the camera the piece attached is only the battery so while the camera would lose power potentially from that cord being pulled out, the video is not. I'm wondering how long would the film last? Like in terms of like if when you record, like how long will it like film until like it either runs out of room to um, videotape or anything like that, or is there like a real room for that? That's a good question. So both of the cameras, the on a full charge, the typical battery life is an entire eight to twelve hour show. We, one of the issues we don't have is hey, the battery died. There, are, there was some early equipment out in the marketplace a few years ago. The batteries, every three or four hours, have to plug into the cars. The battery will last the full shift. And it could, you could record five, six hours of video if you wanted to. Uh, we've just never seen that. Most of the time, the department's policies control what has to be recorded and what doesn't. And about an hour and a half to two and a half hours a day is typically what we see. Young people, uh, once again, when I walked in the room, you inspired me. Uh, I want to thank Coach Edy and, and all the uh, people who brought you here. Uh, this is something, uh, Chief Muller, uh, my friends, all the law officers, that we're going to start doing in our meetings. And uh, people like Butch Kennedy from Project Unity, uh, Elder Johnson, uh, you know, and this is our commitment to engage our young people to have close ties, close dialogue with our law enforcement. It means a lot to us that you all came here today.